So it seems like a, you know, like it's, it's over. Breaking news just moments ago from The Washington Post reporting that a Manhattan grand jury has filed criminal indictments against the Trump organization and his longtime chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg. The indictments came down tonight, but will remain sealed until tomorrow afternoon, leaving us in the dark about the specific charges until then, although they are expected to be focused on tax related crimes. Post also reports that Alan Weisselberg is expected to surrender at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office tomorrow morning and will be arraigned later in the day. The Trump Organization, the entity, the company itself, will also be arraigned, represented by a lawyer. These are the first charges resulting from the nearly three-year investigation into Donald Trump and his businesses. Trump himself is not expected to be charged with any crimes at this time. The charges against his business will, of course, exacerbate his legal issues, and charges against Weisselberg could increase pressure on the longtime CFO to flip on his boss. On top of all of that, on the man who may know more about the former president's business and finances than anyone else. CNN 7 Press joins us with that. So what are you learning? Well, Anderson, uh, Alan Weisselberg, who was a top executive with the Trump Organization, uh, the New York Times says that he is about to uh, to finalize a plea agreement with the district attorney in Manhattan. As you remember, uh, he was indicted in the summer, and he, you know he's facing uh, these these uh, tax charges as part of a tax scheme that uh, the, the the DA says also involves the Trump Organization. <clears throat> What's key uh, about this plea agreement or this uh, anticipated plea agreement? Uh, that the New York Times is reporting on is that they say uh, he's not expected to cooperate against uh, the Trump Organization or anyone else in the Trump family. Uh, we know that the, the DA's investigation uh, is still ongoing, uh, though it seems to have lost steam in the last few months. Uh, right now, it appears he's going to, uh, you know, he's looking at perhaps a five-month jail sentence at the end of this. Uh, but it really gives you a sense, uh, Anderson, of all of the different parts of, of these investigations uh, that touch on the former president. He's got a host of legal problems stretching from New York to Atlanta, Fulton County, uh, to now in South Florida, obviously, as a result of the search uh, of, his, of his home in Palm Beach. Evan, just to be clear, Alan Weisselberg, weren't some of the charges things like tu tuition was paid by the Trump Organization for his grandkids' school or his kids' school or something like that? R right, exactly. And what prosecutors, they, they charged him with, uh, with various tax schemes uh, because they were trying to see if perhaps uh, they could pressure him and, and have him uh, provide information on uh, the, 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 what the alleged uh, tax violations of the Trump Organization itself. That seems to have petered out. They seems, it seems that they're ready to sign a deal with Weisselberg without getting any of that cooperation that they were hoping to get against either the organization mm. or members of the Trump family. Evan Prez, appreciate it. Thanks. Joining us now, conservative attorney George Conway, CNN contributor and former Nixon White House counsel John Dean, and CNN chief political analyst Gloria Borger. Um, George, what do you make about the Weisselberg deal? Because clearly a lot of people looked at He's the guy who knows where the proverbial bodies are buried or in terms of taxes and finances. I'm not all that surprised because I think, you know, we saw the resignation of those two prosecutors earlier from the from the Manhattan DA's office because they felt that the, the new incoming DA wasn't willing to pursue the case in the way that the prior one was. John Dean, what do you think about how significant this Weisselberg news is, if it is? I was a little surprised. I thought they'd squeeze him a little harder. Uh, five months, I think he probably figures he can do that standing on his hands. So he's well, willing to go and get it behind him. I assume he thinks that Trump will take care of him, uh, that it's a fair deal. He has been taking care of him. So he's not going to be the rat, if you will. Uh, you know, I don't know if they are going to press that car, uh, cause harder in the criminal court. I think George is right on on the civil case is dynamite and it, it's going to hurt Trump a lot, mm. probably financially much more than anything the criminal court will do. So it seems like a, you know, like it's, it's over. So it seems like a, you know, like it's, it's over. So it seems like a, you know, like it's, it's over.